Having completed the previous video, I realized that I was tossing around terms such as induced drag and airplane without having really discussed what these are. I certainly hope that this oversight on my part did not reduce you to a confused, weeping mass. Drag in an aircraft is made of two components. Parasite drag and induced drag. Parasite drag is not caused by a giant parasitic creature hitching a ride on your aircraft, although that would probably make your flight a lot more interesting. Parasite drag is actually mainly made of skin friction drag, informed drag. Let's look at skin friction drag first. An aircraft moving through the air is having to move through trillions of air particles. Here is the skin of the aircraft, and here are a load of air particles. These air particles are too far away to be affected by the aircraft, but these three will be. In this very slowed down film, you can see that as the aircraft moves though the air, air particles close to the skin are absorbing some energy from the aircraft and are accelerating to the aircraft's speed. Air particles close to the aircraft move closer to the same speed than those that are further away. This absorption of energy by trillions of air particles is what causes skin friction drag. Obviously, the picture would look like this to start with, but I can't be bothered to animate thousands of particles individually, and so you will have to use your imagination a little. Hopefully, you get the gist though. Next, form drag. When an air flows around an aircraft, it is going to change in speed and direction, and this also requires energy. Again, this energy comes from the aircraft, and this is what causes form drag. A nice aerodynamic surface helps to minimize form drag, like the majestic, elegant, and sleek British Comet airliner. However, surfaces that abruptly halt the smooth flow of air maximize this kind of drag, and it is generally considered that this was the main point of failure in this Elysian aircraft of the early 80s. Parasite drag is increased with an increase of speed, as more air particles are being moved around, absorbing more energy. It is also increased if the flaps, or the wonderfully aerodynamic landing gear are deployed. If the airframe has any contamination on it, such as mud, ice, or snow, this will increase skin friction drag as well. Next, induced drag. Induced drag is caused by wingtip vortices. These are caused by the difference in the air pressure below and above the wing, as you will remember from the creation of lift video. At the tips of the wing, the higher pressured air below the wing can go round the tip, to satisfy its insatiable urge to get with the lower pressure air on top of it. This creates a circular motion of air at the tips of the wings, clockwise on the left, anti-clockwise on the right. The vortice is that this action creates affects the air around it. At the root of the wing, where vortex action is not felt too much, airflow is like this. However, at the wing tips, where there is a lot of the whole vortex action thing going on, airflow is altered to become like this. As you can see, the air is forced upwards in front of the wing, and then forced downwards behind it. This alteration of the air then means that the lift generated by the wing is slightly deflected backwards. This lift force going backwards now adds to the drag force and is the induced drag of the aircraft. The induced drag is affected by the lift being generated by the wing. The heavier the aircraft, or the tighter the turn, the more lift the wing is having to provide, the greater the pressure differential is on either side of the wing, and the greater the strength of the vortices. As I said in the previous video, more lift means more induced drag. Wings that are long and thin are also good for reducing induced drag as less wing is covered by the vortex affected air. However, they are not so good are reducing parasite drag, so a happy medium has to be found. I hope this has given you a better glimpse into this draggy world. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, rate, go to profpilot.co.uk and contribute there too. If you do all of those things, I will love you forever. Bye.